on the highway to the danger zone. That's right, I'm Spencer alongside Lando Dollar. And this Saturday night, August 27th, we will be back at the East Park Rec Center as Pro Wrestling 225 and GSW present Danger Zone. Homa, Louisiana, you are not ready for the Danger Zone. It's going to be a huge night. We've got a stacked card for you fans out there in Homa, Louisiana, and we can't wait to bring it to you. We've got some great action that's already been announced for the show this Saturday night, including some singles action for guys that we are used to seeing in tag team action. That's right. We've got the Lionheart, Charles West, who we know is one half of the Pride. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the game changer, Christian Blake. We know Christian Blake has hit the reset button after Pro Wrestling 225 general manager has cost him the opportunity of competing alongside Jordan Ja for the foreseeable future. But Christian Blake has been on a tear since that happened. What is he going to do against Charles West, a man he knows a thing or two about wrestling? You're absolutely right. The Pride and the Ober Boys were battling over those Pro Wrestling 225 Tag Team Championships over the last year or so, right? Great rivalry. Great match after great match after great match. Exactly. So it's going to be really interesting as we've been seeing throughout the summer here, Christian Blake's rise as a singles competitor. How is Jordan Ja going to fare as a singles competitor as well? And we're going to see some of that this Saturday night in Homa, Louisiana. These are just two guys that love to fight. And they're going to do it this Saturday night as the game changer, Christian Blake, takes on the Lionheart, Charles West. Man, that East Park Rec Center is going to be on fire for Danger Zone. But that's not all. We've got two heavyweight championship matches. That's right, the GSW Heavyweight Championship and the Pro Wrestling 225 Heavyweight Championship will be defended in Homa at Danger Zone. I absolutely cannot wait, uh, but also the fallout. What is Disobey going to think coming after their loss of the Tag Team Championships? We might find out. In the danger zone. That's right. The last time we were at the East Park Rec Center, we saw the formation of maybe the most feared tag team in the history of Pro Wrestling 225 as the Mad Dog Gil Gracie and the deranged Lucha LaCora teamed up to form the Dogs of War. And after Cruel Summer, the Dogs of War are your Pro Wrestling 225 tag team Champions. So you mentioned Disobey. We know we'll see them in Homa, but will the Dogs of War be lurking in Homa as well? I tell you who will be in Homa. How about the ring wrecker, Vordell Walker? How is Vordell Walker going to respond after being cost the Pro Wrestling 225 Heavyweight Championship from Cody King? I'm still just as confused as I was two months ago. Right? We saw Cody King come out and watch as Corey Constantine defended the heavyweight championship against Van Vicious. Fast forward to Cruel Summer. She's ringside again against Vordell Walker and this time gets physically involved, costing Vordell Walker the match after a low blow. So, will Cody King be in Homa, Louisiana? Look, the real question is did Corey Constantine know? what Cody King's intentions were, and did he see what happened before winning that match? Whether he knew or not, one thing's for sure, the ring wrecker is going to be in Homa, Louisiana, looking for vengeance. And he's got a one-on-one -on -one battle, and it's going to be a great one, against the Emperor of the Wild, Frederick Yeager. Absolutely. I cannot wait to see these two powerhouses clash in the East Park Rec Center. You know, we talk about people that we know are going to be in Homa, Louisiana. It was such a historic night when we were there in April for Showdown, and we've got some debuts to make here at the Danger Zone. That's right, for the first time, we've got a new addition to the Pro Wrestling 225 Women's Division in Sadie Love. I cannot wait. The Pro Wrestling 225 Women's Division has been cannot miss. Sadie Love is gonna go in there looking to make a statement. And we mentioned Disobey, we mentioned the Dogs of War, and we know that Pro Wrestling 225 has one of the best tag team divisions in all of professional wrestling. 
And we're going to see another team enter that fold this Saturday night in Homa as the real deal, Terry Yaki and the superstar, Jay Lucas, will be in tag team action. Man, tag team action is always great in Pro Wrestling 225. We talk about time and time again the stacked division that it is. I cannot wait to see what this team can do. And you mentioned earlier, Lando Dollar, that we were going to have two heavyweight championship matches in Homa at the East Park Rec Center, and you were not wrong. One of them is the GSW heavyweight title as the Minotaur goes one-on-one with the first ever Grand Slam champion in pro wrestling 225, Mustang Mike. Obviously, Mustang Mike, no stranger to winning matches, no stranger to winning championships, the first ever Grand Slam Pro Wrestling 225 champion. But can he overcome one of the most dominant champions in GSW history in the Minotaur? It's going to be a huge, huge matchup. Just two men that are physically built to be champion. And who's going to come out on top in the danger zone? We know Mustang Mike successfully defended his SEC championship against Van Vicious at GSW SummerSlam 6. Was that enough momentum to stop the reign of the Minotaur? I cannot wait for that match. But of course, the Pro Wrestling 225 Heavyweight Championship is also on the line in Homa. We talked about it. Corey Constantine, the beneficiary, un- unknown, maybe known, we don't know, uh, because of Cody King's interference at Cruel Summer. But he is setting the title up for grabs again this Saturday night at the East Park Rec Center when he goes one-on-one with the other half of the aforementioned Pride as he takes on the, the Russian big, Destruction. Bad Vladdy Daddy is getting his title shot. Look, I've made no secret about how big of a fan I am of Russian Destruction Vladimir Koloff. This is going to be an incredible match from two hungry, hungry wrestlers. It's so interesting because what we've seen and we've heard from Vladimir Koloff, right? And he said, I still want those tag team titles. Charles West and I have not forgotten that we want to be two-time tag team champions in Pro Wrestling 225. But when Michael White gives you an offer you can't refuse, you take it. And he says that as different as Corey Constantine is, the amalgamation, right? As different as he is, he's just like everybody else. And he and his title reign are temporary, so, Lando Dollar in Homa, Louisiana at the East Park Rec Center this Saturday night. Does Russian destruction begin a new reign as the Pro Wrestling 225 heavyweight champion? This is absolutely one of my dream matches. Two of the absolute best in Pro Wrestling 225. It's what Pro Wrestling 225 is all about. Putting on the best possible matches for you. You cannot miss this show. Get to Danger Zone in Homa. Do not forget, and we've already mentioned such a stacked card, but it was just a few weeks ago at Cruel Summer. I don't know if you've heard or not from our general manager, Michael White, because I'm not sure if he's woken up <laughs> since Probably the not. knockout blow brought to him by Wild Thing in their boxing match at Cruel Summer. How great was that to finally see Wild Thing get his hands or his gloves on Michael White? We waited so long and that absolutely did not disappoint. Thank you, Wild Thing. So what's going to happen at Danger Zone? We are sure that there's going to be fallout from that. We know that Wild Thing will be there. We know that the general manager, Michael White, will be there. So how will Michael White respond to that boxing beatdown he received at Cruel Summer. I don't even think he's going to be able to talk straight. I think he's missing a few teeth. <laughs> I just, I, I can't wait. All of that and so, so much more this Saturday night at the East Park Rec Center in Homa, Louisiana. Make sure you get their ticket start at just $10. It's going to be an epic, epic show. And until then, we will see you this Saturday night as we get on the highway to the Danger Zone. Oh, my God.